What's going on guys? Island Demona here and today we're back and um today I just wrote a title. I'm going to be doing a little headlight installation on my Coleman mini bike. <clears throat> um if you guys watched my other video, um obviously I was talking I showed my new Yamaha Raptor 350. But now I'm gonna go to my um uh, little Coleman that I got last Christmas. Um yeah, it's pretty fun. Obviously it's not like a name brand bike at all. It's just a little fun trail bike and I don't know, I just have a little fun with it. And um, I decided I want to put headlights on it, so I got these Nylite lights, and they are really cheap, but they have like 4,000 reviews, and they're, I tested them out, and they're really good. So it comes with two nice big lights. These are the ones that people use for like Jeeps and everything. Um, I'll take them out after. I got a 12-volt battery, and then I got a wiring harness, obviously, because you need to wire it all through there. And, uh, yeah, if you wanna, if any of you guys wanna get these, uh, the links will be in the description for the wiring harness, the battery, and the lights. Um, yeah, it's all pretty cheap. And, uh, yeah, so let's just get to installing this thing. So, let me take it out. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall over. There's one light. Two light. And then it comes with the mounting brackets and then your bolts. Take that out of the way. Got a wiring harness. You know, pretty simple. It comes with the little directions. And then we have extra fuses, which is great. And now we're there. And then lastly, our battery. Probably don't care about, but it's just a little 12 volt expert power battery. Yeah. And, uh, that's that. Okay, so since the brackets for the lights, low mounts, are like this, um, you'd have to drill them in to something. So, I think I'm gonna put them right here, so I don't have to drill holes. Um, I think that should fit. Or, if I don't, if I can't fit it, then I'm gonna have to drill a hole right here, two holes right here, and then do it. But, hopefully I could just do it right here. I'm gonna go get some tools real quick, and hopefully I could do it. So... Okay, so we ran into a little problem, but I think it could work. <laughs> so, um, if you test this, there's two bolts that go into the bottom of this to lock onto this. Um, get the wire down there. I slide this in, but that edge just hits it. And if I were to put both bolts through it, it would be sitting up like that. And I don't want to see the sky. Obviously, I want to see the ground where I'm going if I'm riding at night. So, I think I'm going to do... What I think I'm going to do is just put... If I can get it in just one bolt through there and it should sit and it should if I put one bolt through there if I could it would sit just like that if it goes down it should sit like that or I could adjust it a little but this should work if I do it like right there yeah I'm gonna do that instead just put one bolt through it should be fine though so uh yeah it should be good like that and um, I'll show you guys what it looks like right before I bolt it all on. Alright, so I got this one on. Um, I didn't even use half of the bolts. <laughs> um, here's the next bracket. Mounting, whatever. Mount. Um, yeah, it's a little like that. Oh, sorry. I wasn't even showing it. It's a little like that. But I don't. I truly do not care. I'll tr I'll tighten it up a little bit more. Because I, I was literally using this. I was using a, a socket and a little um, wrench. Not wrench? What am I saying? Little pliers. Um... <laughs> And yeah, I just need to get the um, right size wrench for it, and then tighten it up, but other than that, it's a little bit loose. And uh, yeah, same thing's gonna go on that side, and it's looking perfectly out. And these things are so bright, it doesn't even matter if a little bit gets cut off by this. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wire both of them under here, and they're gonna go under the seat. And I may drill holes in the seat and put zip ties through, but that might be a little hard. So I think I'm just gonna bring it right through here. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, so I finally got it all together. I know this one looks a little slant. It's just got I got tightened, uh, I tighten it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I got it all together. Got bolts on both sides. Bolted it all down tightly. And now it's just a wiring harness, which is really easy. Um, I'm gonna bring this. I think or I'm gonna bring them above. You know, maybe. I bring them under there. And battery. It's gonna. Go right here. Uh, maybe this. I don't know. Should I lay it down? So it could be like that, and the wires could just go right in there, and I could put like a cover over it or some shit. Maybe. I don't know. 
well uh, we'll see I'll see what I'm gonna do with it maybe I may just zip tie it for now or try and put find a strap for it and then I gotta put like a little cover over it maybe so you know if it rains doesn't get destroyed which I should, or mud flying up from the back doesn't destroy it I don't know so uh yeah I'm gonna take out the wiring harness I'll try and record it the best I can but uh yeah all right so um I got all the wiring up which definitely did not take a half hour um I took the seat off just so I can get under here easily. Now I just have a big ball of wire and I need to find out how I'm gonna put it, which should be really fun. All right, now. <laughs> there we go. So guys, I am back outside and um, I went inside uh, for like an hour. I ate, I uh, lay down a little and defrosted my fingers because it it's freezing outside. And um, I looked in a little package where the wiring harness came and I did not see this. I, I know I did see it, I just did not really think of what it was. And this is what goes on the end of the wires to connect onto this. And if I did say something about that's it's like it's not the right thing, it's not connecting, and I that's why I put tape around it and I had struggle a nice struggling time doing this. It's because of my fault. Um I'm not the brightest when it comes to this stuff. Well I am, I just never I've never done something like this so I didn't really know. And uh yeah, these connect onto the wires from there to go onto this. And uh yeah, so now I'm gonna put these on. And then I'm going to finally throw the seat on, and then I'll show you guys a video when it gets dark of me riding it. So, yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, after struggling, not knowing what to do, and just a whole other bunch of crap, I finally finished. Well, not technically. Well, I finished all this. The only thing I need to do is just mount the battery on here, and soon get a cover or find something to put over it. Uh, and attach these in. So, eh, so they stay in. This one's now stuck. Yeah, I need a test rose, whatever. But, um, I'm, yeah, I finally got the wiring all together. Uh, put some duct tape over it, you know, just for some reinforcements, you know. Um, here's a little switch. On, off, on, off. It lights up, too. Pretty nice. But these are nice, bright lights. Um, can't wait to use them. I'm just gonna keep this little switch right here. Doesn't matter. Um, these shouldn't shake. These should be all good, yeah. Nice and, this one I need to tighten, definitely. This one's all tight. Um, except this one. Yeah, I need to tighten that a little. Uh, but other than that, let's just see. She starts up. Choke. Turn on that gas. Usually two poles. One. Yeah, this is gonna... Okay guys, so um, it is 5.19, um, and yeah, I may have waited a little bit too long, because now you literally can't see anything, except the sky, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I got my phone flashlight, uh, the lights and everything, I just wanted to show you guys um, that they work well, so uh, yeah, I'm going to try and hold my camera, alright, I'm just going to turn the phone light off, and turn these on, if I could find a switch, there we go. These things, it actually looks a lot different on camera, what I'm looking at right now. But, it looks, it goes a lot farther on, in person, obviously. But hella bright, especially in person. <laughs> I'm gonna say that a lot, but, uh, yeah, from a view, this is literally perfect. And my backyard stretches all the way back there, and obviously the camera cannot see it, but <clears throat> I can see everything all the way back door, all the way back there towards my fence. And I just clicked the button on accident. And, uh, yeah, this thing's actually really nice. And I like it a lot. Dope. And, uh, yeah, I know, obviously, it's dark. You really can't see anything except the lights. But, uh, and, um, stay tuned for my next videos. It's definitely gonna be the mini ATV in there that you guys probably haven't seen yet in my shed. Um, that's gonna be the next video. Or my Raptor. Um, I don't know. We'll see which one. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I already know I already said this, but please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.